Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace be upon you all and welcome to the channel. In this video we will <coughs> we will discuss uh, the technique by which we can swap the values of two variables. You can implement this for multiple variables of course it does not necessarily have to be for two but we will cover two for simplicity. <coughs> and before we begin بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين وارض اللهم عنا معهم أجمعين اللهم آمين اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم وبارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد <coughs> we begin in the name of Allah, the most merciful in this life and in the hereafter. And we thank him for all of his blessings that he has bestowed upon us, for they are innumerable. And we pray that we follow in the footsteps of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him and his fellow companions. Amen. <coughs> We also ask for prayers and blessings to be bestowed upon Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and his family, as they were bestowed upon Prophet Ibrahim, peace be upon him, and his family. Amen. We will see a pictorial representation of the swapping technique before we move to IntelliJ to demonstrate an example. So what I have here is a, a place in memory for the first variable and a place in memory for the second variable. <clears throat> so the first variable, let us say it is called num, num1. Uh, probably have to reduce the font size. There we go, num1. And its value is 5. And in this <clears throat> variable we have I am using of course primitive data types but the same applies for reference data types however remember if you uh, assign uh, a variable of reference data type to another reference data type value you are not assigning the value you are assigning the memory address remember that on the stack which points to the heap so you are assigning a pointer pretty much and here it is let us say six now how would I switch uh, this to be placed here and have this placed here that is the end goal that is what I want to accomplish now how would I do this programmatically or computationally what I will need is a third empty variable, like so. Normally, this variable is referred to as a temp variable, shortened from temporary, an empty variable like so. So what I will do is, firstly, uh, let me use some arrows. I will place one of these two variables in, an em in the empty variable here, like so. So I will say temp is equal to num1, prog programmatically speaking. So now this will be placed here. Then I will say num1 is equal to num2 because now I have a copy of this here, so I can overwrite this. I do not need it anymore. So I will assign this here. <coughs> Alhamdulillah. Oh. Okay. So I will say num1 is equal to num2. So what I will have is this. Like so. Then I will move this value into here. So I will say num2 is equal to temp, like so. Oh, I need the line. 
like that. And um, what do I need? Uh, yeah, this one. And there, I have swapped the two variables. You do not have to start with the one on the left. You can start from the one on the right. But I simply wish wanted to start from the first variable as opposed to the second variable. So I will label the steps for you. This is step number one. This is step number two. And finally, this is step number three, like so. Now let us actually see, uh, uh, let me write the syntax for each step for you. So I will use this color. So this will be uh, temp is equal to num1, like so. Then <coughs> we will say here num1 is equal to num2. And finally, here will be num2 is equal to temp. And that is it. This is how you swap variables. Remember, with regards to the assignment operator, the precedence is from right to left. Remember in the operator precedence lecture, I attached a table regarding associativity and precedence. So the associ I should say associativity, not um, precedence, from right to left. So this is processed first then it is assigned into the variable. Now let us write this programmatically. We will have uh, int num1 is equal to 5, int num2 is equal to 6. Now let us end the uh, temp of course. Int temp, uh, we can initialize it to 0, it does not really matter. This is only used for variable swapping. That is it. So think of this variable as a female in a Western society where after she is, or a male too, because they, they do both now, where uh, the female or the male is used to achieve a particular purpose, to fill in an emotional void or to satisfy a sexual need. Then after that, they are disposed of. So this is used for variable swapping. Okay, now let us follow these steps. We will start with this step. So we will say temp is equal to num1. So now this zero has been overwritten and now temp stores five. Let us print temp to confirm that this is now five. Any moment now. Ah, there we go. So now the new value in temp is 5. <clears throat> then, step 2, we assign the value here to this one. Well, before the swapping, of course, this is after swapping. So we will say num1 is equal to num2. So now let us print num1 just to confirm. This should be six. Perfect. Then uh, we do not need this. Then lastly, we have this step where we put this number into here. So we will say num2 is equal to temp. Now I will print num1 and print num2. just to make sure that we have swapped them. So this should be six, it used to be five, and this used to be six. Now this will be six, and this will be five. Let us print, uh, execute these and see. Sorry, I was sipping the water. And there we have it. We have successfully swapped a variable, uh, two variables. So you probably have noticed the pattern here. If you wish to swap between the values of two of certain number of variables, you must have a temporary 
variable. So what would happen if you want to swap between three variables? The question here would be how many temp variables would you need? I will leave that as a as an, a nice exercise for you to identify the trend. But now you understand what must be done for variable swapping. Lastly, what I would like to confirm, I covered this in the string episode. I forget which one to be quite honest. But if I have name one is equal to Muhammad and I have string name two is equal to Ahmed and I say this name one is equal to name two here I am not uh, assigning the value Ahmed into the value here I am actually manipulating the memory addresses. Why? Because objects are stored in the heap. They are not stored in the stack. The assignment operator is functional within the stack, not within the heap. It, you can do so within the heap, but there must be a, a particular um, procedure that you must follow to be able to assign a value from the heap to another variable within the heap. And that is it with regards to this lecture. I hope this video was helpful and beneficial to you all. Enjoy the rest of your day, everyone. <clears throat> be safe, take care, and peace be upon you all. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala ali Muhammad kama sallayt ala Ibrahim wa ala ali Ibrahim wa barik ala Muhammad wa ala ali Muhammad kama barakt ala Ibrahim wa ala ali Ibrahim fil alamin innaka hamidun majid